Hello and welcome to Distributed Systems and Blockchain in the News. My name is Thomas Pocek and this is a weekly summary of interesting news in distributed systems and blockchain. So let's get right into it. In the introduction lecture, I motivate that distributed systems are necessary since hardware will eventually fail. Well, some hardware can be built very robust, but it still occurs that it fails. For example, Voyager 1 spacecraft here in this picture, in this article. And uh, space is an extremely harsh environment also for electronics due to high level of radiation and extreme temperature fluctuations. And to mitigate these challenges, spacecrafts are equipped with specially designed hardware, such as redundant circuit level design enhancements or error correcting memories. Even with this level of precaution, Voyager 1 that was launched 47 years ago stopped sending coherent data streams. Voyager 1 and also Voyager 2, they are outside our solar system. And uh, since we also talked about latency, the latency to the spacecraft is more than 22 hours at speed of light and uh, a round trip is 44 hours at best. And uh, yeah, the spacecraft didn't send any coherent data. And in order to figure out the problem, you need to know where the problem is. This is also true for distributed systems but it's not always easy to figure out the issue and uh, eventually um, they were able to dump the memory of Voyager 1 and figured out that there was an issue in the RAM of the flight data system. 3% of the memory was corrupt so they had to rewrite the code to omit those 43% RAM. And the fix is now in place. Voyager 1 is working again after five months of not sending any coherent data. And since November 14th, 2023 is lost, but now it's sending data again. So even with the most robust hardware, it will eventually fail. So better prepare for it. The next topic is about security, which I also touched in the authentication lecture. It's the following article here. And there I showed a figure that password cracking uh, or how fast password cracking um, was doing in 2018. And now I have fresh numbers. And uh, this is the website of Hive System. Uh, it's a company specialized in cybersecurity, which compiled these numbers and they put together a nice table, how long it takes to go through all the combinations with modern hardware. Um, they use different sets of hardware. Um, for example, in the table I will show, they used 12 RTX 4090 and as a software, they used Hashcat. The following here, uh, this is a fast password cracking program that you can try out as well. They show how long it takes with the old MD5 password hash. Um, so eight characters here. Um, it will take roughly um, 59 minutes with an RTX 4090. And if we change to a bcrypt system here with the bcrypt password hash with an RTX 4090, um, you need 99 years. So modern systems should either use bcrypt, sCrypt or Aragon. However, if you scale your system to 100,000 NVIDIA's A100 um, industrial scale GPUs, then it will take five days. Um, those are pretty expensive and currently are used for um, AI and large language models. Well, not everyone can afford 10,000 GPUs and uh, they made a nice table here as uh, an image. And here we see um, they used 12 RTX uh, 490. So if your password is eight characters with a large enough complexity here with numbers, upper, lowercase letters and symbols, 
it will take seven years to break your password. Nonetheless, I recommend to use either nine or 10 uh, characters for your password. And one thing they also showed is when you reuse the passwords and you can use rainbow tables, then it looks like this, then your password is instantly gone. So always pick a new password. Don't share the passwords. The last article is about the two co-founders of the Samurai wallet. They have been charged with money laundering associated with their crypto mixer service. And the authorities claim that Samurai Wallet facilitated over 2 billion in illegal transactions, including substantial amounts through dark web marketplaces. And this had led to a broader US crackdown on crypto mixers like Bitcoin Fog and Tornado Cash which the government deems as tools for laundering money, despite their privacy preserving intentions. And uh, this is the article here about Samurai Wallet. And the US authorities, they argue that any financial interaction with these services beyond merely writing the code is illegal under current financial regulation. And this action underscores the significant tension between government oversight and digital privacy rights. And the case against the Samurai Wallet founders emphasize the government's stance that facilitating or profiting from privacy tools can lead to legal consequences. So what about privacy preserving blockchains like Monero and Zcash? Well, they can be used to prevent tracing transactions as well, but it seems that um, currently only those are targeted that can directly profit from mixers and this is currently a no-go. And we have seen this case of Tornado Cash. Um, the following uh, is a good article about Tornado Cash, where the developer has been arrested in 2022. Then we had uh, Bitcoin Fog, the longest run Bitcoin money laundering service, where the alleged developers were arrested in March 2024. And now we have Samurai Wallet. All three operators allegedly made good money. And in the Samurai case, it's estimated around 4.5 million US dollars that were earned via fees. So that's it from this week. See you next week.